Hey everybody, welcome back to the homestead here. We have a cool video for you today. We're gonna install the uh, poultry netting from Premier One. Stay tuned for this one, it's gonna be a good one. four corner posts that push into the ground. Uh, I also brought a small rubber mallet out in case we need to help that along. Your fencing. You get a positive and negative clip to hook to your fence from the solar fencer. You get an AC adapter, which is to initially charge your battery or if it dies because you don't have enough sun to recharge it, which I already charged it with this. And some deconstructions. So. We'll get started here. Um, first thing we did, it comes with two bolts in here instead of these thumb screws. So you got to take the bolts out, put the thumb screws in. Um, I guess that's the way it is shipping so it doesn't roll around or move around. There's two clips on the side here. Pick those or squeeze those, pick that up, and you have a small battery in here. And with this battery, and get a hold of the bottom. This battery comes with a negative terminal disconnected, so you just simply hook that terminal up. All right, once that terminal is hooked up, you can charge it, whether it's solar or the AC adapter. Close this back up. All right, the back here, this spot here is for your AC adapter. This is your on off power switch. Your probes go right here, positive, negative, and you set up your solar panel for whatever degree you want it at to charge. Faces most southmost position. Faces the most southmost position that you can face it. All right, um, it's that easy. So I got a hundred foot of fencing here. You got the green poultry fencing. Part number is 207021 if anybody's interested. And by the way, this is not a sponsored video. I bought this with my own money. Um, so we're going to see how this works. There's pretty good reviews on it. So I guess we'll get started here and get this netting out of the container, the plastic it's in. cylinder over top of the uh, electric or not the electric but the post at the bottom a uh, little sign electric fence and a little pamphlet how to install uh, electric fence netting <clears throat> so yeah it's pretty nice in instructions here Lots of pictures. I like pictures. All right. So I guess uh, I'll start by laying this out. Not let all this blow away. And if you see me limping around, I apologize. And I apologize for not getting any videos out lately. I decided to throw myself on the ground from a ladder. Uh, I messed my ankle up. I was down for a couple weeks on that. And then the other day, cleaning my garage out, I uh, somehow twisted my knee on the same leg, which I think it was already helped along by the injury previous. And so now I'm braced up, waiting on the doctor to let me know what I did. Um, so I'll be hobbling around quite a bit. I don't, the videos won't be as frequent right now because uh, I got to take breaks. So let's get this out of the bag. Some 
is what the netting looks like. It comes with the poles pre-attached. They got her tied up there. So, um, oh, another package there. It's got some, looks like some caps and some sort of string with it. We'll figure out what that's for here in a minute. But I think I'm going to take her to the lower end of the coop here and we'll stretch it out and get started. Alright, got my fence uh, sitting back here. I'm going to grab it and pull it out. Real nice, it comes all hooked together here. It's got the uh, poles already attached to it. So, so far so good, I like it. on the ground. It looks like we're to the end here. I'm going to go back and straighten out the other end. Whoa, control's getting away from me. I'm retarded. I couldn't fly an airplane if my life depended on it, so why would the joystick on this be different? grab its other end and swing it around to the other side of the coop. That'll give us a rough layout of our yard. If I can get you guys to stand up right.
like a spot that don't have rocks on it. Alright, I'm going to grab something to attach this to the side of my building here and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just going to use some fencing staples here and attach this to my building temporarily. That way we don't pull it apart. All right, so then what we do, um, come over here and stand the posts up where we want them. And on the ground, like I said, there's these spikes. It's gonna be hard on my property, it's full of rock. And push them down in the ground. Keeping it tight as you're going. This is it, pretty easy. Way better than pounding T posts then. Then you just keep going around the perimeter like I'm doing.
then you take your fiberglass poles and you tighten your corners up with it so everything at the top is pretty much tight. I'm going to go back at an angle. Seem pretty flexible, so I'm gonna make it extra tight. Yeah, let's see how this works. I might end up adding two posts. I just used a fencing staple to tie this to the side of the building. This is going to be our main entrance point. All right, then to set up your fencer, uh, take your probes out of the bag.
And this is an ordinary fencer. If you don't want to buy from this company, you can go to Tractor Supply or anywhere that sells fencers. Make sure the bolts. Put them back on, make sure they're tight. our solar panel here. I think we're going to start out about 43 degrees, see how that works. All right, hooking the probes up. I want your positive on top. Snap that right to this extension here. Alright, this is the uh, digital tester that comes with a kit. We're going to test to uh, see if we have power. So I'm going to go over there and turn on the power switch and see what we got. Alright, so what we did, we hooked to the uh, post in the ground there up to the top strand and what we're going to do is uh, put a negative probe here we'll start testing strands so we got voltage in the fence let my probe come out I wonder if I can just ground it. Let's go to a different section here to the fence. Yep, we got it grounded in the ground. I got 10 volts. 11.4. 6.4. volts, five. It's fluctuating. Let's go to the far end. Actually, we'll go to the middle. Sorry again about my walking, limping, camera shaking. Let's go right here. All right, start down low. Seven. 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 Seven consistently. Now I have to do some, I'll have to do some research there, figure out what it's supposed to be. I didn't read that far in the directions. As long as we got voltage through the whole thing, I think we'll be good. <clears throat> Ground it again. Actually, in the ground, seven point one, seven point two, seven point two. Good, we have voltage all the way around. This is the end here. So, 
this is what you get for 100 foot pretty good size for a chicken yard keep all the predators out of your chicken yard do a quick walk around said i don't know about these fiberglass rods they're pretty flexible so i don't know once they get hot if they're going to hold shape if not i'll update you on it and i might use t-posts keep it stretched but you want to keep it stretched out and this is a totally portable system i can move this at any time it takes probably about if i'm not recording probably about 15 20 minutes especially now that i've done it once There you go, there's the chicken yard. All right, that about does it. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, this comes with a repair kit as well. Hold on and I'll, I'll spin you around. So if you get a tear in your fence anywhere, this is the kit you use to repair the fibers. And it has, if you can look real close there, it has the uh, metal in it. So keep a hold of that. They said your fencer showed you how to hook it up, top strand. And I just grounded it off to the uh, post that goes in the ground. And you want your solar panel, if you get a solar one, facing south as best you can. And where there's a lot of sunlight, that way that keeps that good and charged for you. Um, recap on the fence, just make sure the strands are tight. And make sure you're staked in the ground fairly well. And if you have any kind of fencer, being an AC fencer, you plug in. Solar fencer, any fencer will work with this. So you don't have to buy the one from the company. I didn't have a fencer and I was already ordering the fence. So I just ordered one. I guess while we're here, we'll do an update on the coop. I got the door cut out for the chickens to come out. Made them a little ramp. And a little water container out here. There's going to be swing and stuff like that out here eventually. I got two windows cut in, one on this side, one on the other side. All right. And two, when you open them, I got them. So they uh, lock back. That way the wind doesn't catch them and take off with them. Just regular fence gate closers, locks, whatever you want to call them. And we made this little screen door here. That screen door is nice when it's hot. It, it gets pretty hot in there. It will open up the big door and close the screen. Luna's checking things out with me. And these are the guineas. We got the guineas out and the chickens with the chickens. So everybody's getting big. The guineas are getting rambunctious. Chickens are ready to come out of here, I think. By another week or two. We might go into uh, May a little bit and let them out. Look, everybody is content, seems to be. Almost all of them get in this perch here as of late, so they're learning how to use their perch. I had to put a little a little bit of roofing on top of the uh, brooder because the chickens and stuff are getting up there and shitting all down in the brooder so figured we'd spare the peeps that mess i got 10 more peeps coming that will complete my flock but as you can see everybody everybody's getting good feathers and getting pretty good size these guineas are exploding how big they've gotten They all pretty much stay together though. The chickens were messing with them at first, but I, I think with them getting bigger. Oh, we got little, we got a little handicapped chicken there. He still likes to chase them away from the food. I don't know how much longer he's gonna last. His beak's pretty bad. It doesn't seem like he's getting very big. But we'll keep nursing him along. Yeah, he don't like, he don't like the guineas in there. He chases them all away and they just keep going back the other direction. I said, I think there's a lot of boredom right now. Once we get them out in the chicken yard, they're going to be good to go. And we'll see how many guineas fly off at that point. But 
I think they're pretty content with another week or two, probably three maybe. And we will get them out of here. This is the inside of my door. I haven't hooked up the cord or we yet to pull that up. Uh, that'll be coming. I got pulleys coming. I think Saturday is supposed to be coming through Amazon. Little shelf up there for some of my equipment. But yeah, turned out pretty good. We still keep uh, still keep some heat lamps on at night. It's been down in the 30s, high 20s again. So I'm turning turn them back on. Well, everyone seems to be content. All right, y'all, with that being said, I'm gonna stop rambling here. Um, hope everybody enjoys this video. Throw a like at it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel, please. That way we can uh, get better content going here. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna try to put videos out here with my injury, but it's been kind of tough. I was on the couch at least for the last two days. So I'll keep you updated on that as well. But I appreciate you watching. See you in the next one.